All right. It looks Let's go Dark Blues. Dark Blues has got the tombs on deck. Either way, finally jumping into it. We do see the switch back to Wolf uh, for Sharp. And, you know, I think he's just doing it based on the dynamic of the opposing team he's playing right here. Light and Dawn trying to find redemption after a little bit of a flopsy uh, earlier on in winners against uh, Beast and Tilde, where they kind of got beasted on a little bit. But, you know, these, this is one of the best doubles teams to come out of New England. So if Light's not teaming with Mars, he's teaming with Dawn. Yeah. He's more than capable. So I also do like the Wolf pick because earlier when they were playing, they this was the team that sent them to losers. Mm -hmm. And the Wolf did a lot better in game two. Even though they lost, it was a lot closer than the set game one. Right. And already taking the lead right here. Blue team is just playing so much pressure. Ooh, okay. A little yeah. something hopefully going to get started there by the blue what? team. But still, they're up really good. Yeah. Axiom has been doing well. One good fair. Yeah, Don. Don just getting edge guarded today, bro. Yeah. I've never seen Mario get, ed get edge guarded this hard before. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just going to say this. Whenever Wario hits like a near one or two into like a t off a team hit, you, I, I feel like something crazy is going to happen, man. I feel like Don could be opting for air dodge first to move in to put himself really low, but also not get sniped yeah, out but super then, far But out. then you lose your air dodge to like hit through move. It's you lose, yeah, it's true. You lose the air dodge. However, if you still keep your double jump, which Don hasn't really been doing too good of a job doing, I don't know what happened there. All right, this could be bigger here if Don converts. Oh, all right, okay. we're, just, yeah, to we're, come we're, back. we're at the Italian restaurant right now. There's spaghetti all over the place. Uh, it's a lot of spaghetti. A little ratatouille. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, custom combos? Light? Oh. Light just is creative with his combo game. He's just so good at doing custom combos. Yeah, and you saw the cape from Don just able to take the early stock from Sharp who was essentially at like 10%. Yeah. So again, remember Don trying to make the big plays happen? Yeah. The, when the big plays do happen. They're big. They're huge. But like when they don't, it kind of falls apart. Still the light doing a really good job of juggling sharp right now. Just not being able to get out of this vortex that light and Don are causing right here. Tries to get the jab lock, but I think the DI was actually just right yeah, no, on uh, Axiom right there to get him off I stage. Because there's like a little lip yeah. up there, you can't like be teched in certain right, situations. Right. So I think that was the actual cause. Wow. Kind of got dismantled. Don doing a lot better of a job this stock of living and these jab locks. Axiom again, just not doing anything there to get Sharp out of trouble. Just holding shield, waiting for his opportunity to go in and get some sort of substantial whip punish. But it can't happen in this situation. What? Light it's, is crazy. It's crazy, man. Light is crazy, dude. Uh, what, is go what is going on in that guy's head? I don't know how you think of these things. All right, the corkscrew going to be taking it off and Light respecting. The amount of space Axiom can reversal or control with right now. Oh my god. But Axiom biting off a little more than he can chew on that recovery. And that is going to blend game one to light and Dawn. Dawn finding himself back in, uh, back in the Mafia. You know, my, yeah. my Mr. Dawn fan. He's out here rolling. He, he, you know, after that really bad edge guard first stock, tightened it up really nicely, didn't overextend, didn't get called out off stage. Sharp and Axiom kind of just got smothered. You know, this team dynamic, Wario and Wolf are pretty easy to hit. That cape was insane. It, it's I didn't even notice that cape. That's that like a one frame like thing yeah. to do too, which is even crazier. Light is having a ball right now, dude. I mean, he always is. I, I've never seen, like, I think Light's mentality carries him very, very hard through a lot of bracket because yeah. he is just so optimistic. He's got such good energy. He, he is his biggest fan, which I think helps out a lot as well. Speaking of being your biggest fan, Sharps Lucina already on 77% after that first that first interaction. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely probably not the like the pick right here. Yeah. I feel like with um, little people don't know, like Light did play Lucina at some point in time, so definitely knows the ins and out of the character. I also get the intention behind the Lucina pick though from Sharp, like just wanting to pick out Mario from the air, wanting to edge guard Fox a little bit more consistently. I just think how floaty Lucina is is going to hurt her a lot because Dark and Light, uh, Light and Dawn have been sharking so hard for this damage, for this early damage. Yeah, no, definitely. It's just something that's not... Oh, oh, my God. Light. Don is that dude. He's that dude. He's that dude. All right. I 
Yeah, I don't know. Again, it's all about working with your teammate. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> all right, so. The Vortex. We're in game three. <laughs> yeah, potentially. I like. I think Sharp's intention here was to stay in a healthy range and get better edge guards. But when you're getting hit, you can't edge guard. <laughs> yeah. You can't get edge guarded if you're getting edge guarded. <laughs> And Axiom and, Light and, and uh, the Sharp just aren't picking up off each other. They're, they're just not scooping off the conversions yeah. correctly. And it's really tough because Wario, not the fastest character with frame data-wise. Yeah, that's true. So it's like he's getting smothered, and they're just hitting, um, like, they're just hitting Sharp around him. And if he tries to do something, he just gets hit for it. Like, Nair is the quickest thing you could do in a lot of bad situations for this character. But with Wario and... and Forward air is so stubby and only has like a very light hit right yeah. there, unless you get the sweet spot of it. Like that, that was Fox at 100 getting hit by Wario Fair. There's not going to be much powerful separation right here. Meanwhile, Light has the kill power of being able to disrupt and up smash at any time he wants. Don is F smash, he has jab locks. Mario, they, and they're just getting such good damage off the entire time. Yeah. I think we are going to a game three here for sure. Yeah, this is not looking good. Well, we're going to. We were game going three either way, way, but you know, we're, yeah. we're not going the this way of uh, Sharp and Axiom. No, no Tech Day Jesus here. That, that, was, that was Tech Day John right yeah. there. <laughs> All right, but it is one stock for a piece for Green Team. So. How ah, do you get out of this pressure? Oh my God, like that! Jesus Christ! Sharp! A little bit of life left in him. However, not not too far from the flat line right there. Yeah. Light and Dawn are now smiling. They're having a good time. And when they are having a good time, it means that the, the momentum is going to keep rolling. No, it's true. Yeah. So, 2-0, Light Dawn. What stages do you think we're going to go to? You think that we're just going to run it back PS2? I think we might run it back PS2. I think for Dawn, it's just about the character. I, I, I feel like... I feel like, or did I say Don? I meant Sharp. For Sharp, yeah, sure. it's, for Sharp, it's the character. I feel like Sharp needs to lock himself into a character that he's going to be most comfortable with here. And having to nav navigate that constantly is going to be tough. That being said, sticking with the Lucina. Yeah. I, All right, let's, let's see how it goes. Maybe I, still faith in character, just early, yeah. like, let stock losses. So just led to bad situations, which did happen. So they didn't even really have a chance to brew with the character. It's just about working together with Axiom, which has not been panning out too far for Axiom, because Axiom just hasn't been able to get in. Like, yeah. the stock tanking and longevity that Axiom has is great when he's up. He's so good at playing defensively, but when you're in teams, you can't afford to just camp the entire time and stock tank. You need to help your teammate. You need to convert. And I feel like this hesitation from Axiom is really putting the thorn in the side for the blue team right now. Oh, Sharp also has to hit yeah. these edge guards. Just Gotta barely work. missing a few pixels off okay but able to close the stock out on light and this is basically the lucina pick like you don't have to super space the aerial your aerials it's true because you don't have a tipper like marth and you're able to close stocks on pretty strong the back air closing out the stock right there with back air and fair as lucina really good patience by sharp right there to wait in the corner but again don playing a beat a beat more patient i'd say you know waiting yeah. a lot longer for the team for someone to jump or do something risky just blowing them for it i just feel like axiom has not been able to play this game he's yeah. been getting damage but no stocks my man is just fighting fighting to live fighting to live another day yeah and th that seems to be the big factor from like the sets we saw previously yeah. where axiom played a big role to like him no longer playing that big of a role it works, again, it works well when you're up, but when you're down, that sort of passive playstyle doesn't pan out. That being said, though, good trades on either side, keeping both teams in it very even right now. Looks like Sharp is starting to find his groove a little bit more. Light, you know, Light just doing what he does best, disrupting, getting in there, getting hits. He's not been really running away with anything as of, uh, as of late, though, in this game. Oh, the get-up attack. All right, finally Axiom managing to get a hit and enough damage apparently to polish Fox off the top. That's just PS2 for you right here. So even if Sharp and Axiom manage to clutch this game out, there's a long road ahead of them and a lot of adaptation that Light and Dawn can do. Tried to get the Nair and up smash right there of a different method. Yeah. Not gonna pan out though. No, it's not a oh, good up smash right there. Still though, having such quick up smashes that are anti cross up buttons or just safe out of shield to do is so good in doubles. Just having a quick option that can kill. 
uh, off of an opponent's mistake because people are more likely to space badly in doubles just because you have to be consciously aware of not only your spacing but how your opponents are spaced or how your teammates are spaced so it's tough uh, no it's certainly tough and oh my god don about to lose the stock right there now sharp let him have it you know axiom is doing perfectly fine against light but uh i feel like sharp could have capitalized on that don stock right there at least parry some sharper great yeah. Ooh, Axiom getting out of here. He, know, he knows what's coming next after that Nair. Oh, that's smash. All right, we do, do see a restock. Finally, when Axiom is out of danger, I like that Trev had the awareness to wait for that. Yeah. Still, though, uh, but was he really out of danger? <laughs> I don't know. This has a lot of potential to be a sharp 1v1 with light if he can just make this comeback here. But Dawn is not giving up this stock just yet. He's hanging on for dear life. Oh, getting charged out. Oh, good jab right there. I actually love the jab timing right there. Just do something safe, something quick. A lot of people drop shield when you jab them. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. A little too high spaced up, and that's going to be the set. Light and Dawn do get their run back against Beast and Tilde. Good effort from Sharp and Axiom. We're going to be dropping down to third for the, uh, for the Mass and Rhode Island team, but Connecticut going to be cleaning this one up here. And yeah, that up smash. Look at that. Yeah, that's huge. Just uh, just barely. Just whipping. giving him a, not even giving him a haircut. <laughs> Gonna have to do a little bit more to give Fox a trim. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, just big up smash. Great anti air right there. If someone doesn't you know land their aerial properly, Lucina's got some good aerials. I don't know about shield breaker from ledge. Uh, a little risky. If, a little if, tough. It was, if it was a bit taller, it would have hit. Either way, though, this is the Grands coming up right here between Beast and Tilde. Beast and Tilde coming from Winter's side, taking on Dawn and Light, while Dawn and Light not really making too much of a loser's run to make it back, just doing what they had to do. Yeah, just ma making sure they don't fall into yeah. third. So, guaranteed second now, and they got to take two sets yep. from 